All right, it is that time once again, doing a little thrifting. Stopped by Half Price Books. Uh, a lot of interesting video games in the case. That's from Commodore 64 right there. NES games, Atari games, and television games. Lots of really great boxed stuff. Uh, and even some big box PC games, which you don't see a whole lot of there anymore. This Star Trek TNG game was quite intriguing, I'm not going to lie. But look at this. This is, oh my god, so disgustingly 80s. It fits all of your old retro cartridges. I just love it. And speaking of cartridges, look at all these. They were really lit to the gills for uh, a lot of retro gaming stuff. And cassettes, of course, Meatloaf. Uh, Midnight at the Lost and Found is probably his worst album, I'm not going to lie. But I had to get it. It's cassette tape. Rat. I'm all about, I'm out, here's the thing about music and me. Uh, well, hold on. Here's, look at this giant uh, cassette tape, book on tape for Lord of the Rings. Music-wise, I am all about Outlaw Country, Hair Bands, and Meatloaf, which, who falls somewhere in between. So, uh, VHS tapes, lots of stuff to choose from, a lot of good stuff, Frighteners, pretty much all stuff I already have, uh, but a, a good selection, I would say quality over quantity here um, a lot more good than bad but there was this the day the world ended with randy quaid and natasha kinski uh it's a promo copy a screener copy i've never heard of it so i'm grabbing it also this from the hunger series or hunger collection uh which if i remember right the hunger was uh, that david bowie uh, vampire movie, so I grabbed that too. And of course, I love looking through all of the old magazines. <laughs> Deep Space Nine had its own magazine. I never really thought uh, Odo had much of a face for uh, for <laughs> for being a cover boy. Uh, on to Goodwill. Yep, of course, I am dumb and forgot to take a video of entering. Uh, check this out. A Clue 2. VCR game. Of course, my thumb is over the number two, uh, but I had to grab this. Very interesting. And there was a lot of VHS tapes. Unfortunately, uh, it was in a state. <laughs> it looked like it had been attacked by the Tasmanian devil. Uh, same with electronics. It is, was just a complete mess. Not a whole lot to see there was. This uh, sweet little Polaroid camera, which was tempting, uh, but I did pass on. And then look at this. This is just absolutely bizarre. It took me a while to really figure out what it was. It's a slide projector, but it's got this sweet little remote that pops out the side. And I could not figure out the two lenses. Look, there's like this lens and then the other lens. And at first I thought, could it, could it point two directions? But no, it's... It's just a holder for the lens. I don't understand why anyone would want that. And then I thought this was funny. It's just a VHS little storage shelf, but look at it. It's got a lock on it. So I assume that's for uh, daddy's collection of uh, grown-up movies. And I forgot to film it in the store. Of course, I got excited, uh, but I did find this uh, tiger handheld of Double Dragon. It's, uh, it's one I already have. But with a lot of this stuff, it's only getting harder to find, especially out in the wild for, you know, a buck or two. So I am just fine with doubles. And we're on to another Half Price Books. Uh, let's see what we got here. A lot of retro games again. Good prices. I have to say the prices here were a lot better than the, the last Half Price Books. I mean, that, you know, comes down to title more than anything else. Uh, and a lot of 45s to go through. I don't really collect 45s, but there were some interesting ones here. Obviously, uh, Tina Turner from Beyond Thunderdome is instantly uh, appealing. And then you got Total Eclipse of the Heart, which I'm a big Bonnie Tyler fan. Uh, and then check this out. I told you, Outlaw Country. I spotted me some Merle Haggard, and that is that is all I need for a good time. And of course, because I don't collect enough things, I also collect interactive fiction, choose your own adventure books. So I always got to see what they've got. And usually they're not more than a buck or two. So 
if I don't have them, I pick them up. And cruising and perusing before I head out, I spot, don't tell anybody, but Joe Gaines is my secret crush. And finally, we'll end the night at somewhere I have never been before, Arks Value Village, first time, and holy cow do they have a lot of VHS tapes. It's not really anything special, but if someone was like just starting out collecting, there is so much stuff to mine right here. And looking through the toys, as I always do, hi, baby, uh, I spot this, a Ms. Pac-Man. Uh, I double-checked the tag. It doesn't look like it's old. Uh, it, I mean, it's, it's made to look retro, but the, the uh, logo looked new. And for a buck, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add that to the, to the video vault. And looking through the mess of books, what do I spot? Laser Tag, the official handbook. Uh, yeah, that's 80s as all get out. I'm buying it. So there you go. Just a quick little spin around the block. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Found, I mean, you know, not, you know, sometimes you never know what you're going to get. You come home with a bunch of music or you come home with a bunch of VHS tapes or laser discs or you never know. And that is the fun of thrifting. It's always neat to see what you find. Um, and by the way, thank you everybody so much for the, uh, the real positive response. A lot of you have, seem to really like this on the channel. And I really like doing it because there are things, especially like today was a great example of uh, weird things like that, uh, like that slide projector. I, never in a million years was I going to buy it, but it was really interesting to see. And I don't know how many of you see that stuff. I don't, you know, I've never seen some, something like that, uh, the way it was set up. And... It's kind of a bummer to think of all this weird, neat stuff that, you know, I'm not going to buy. Like, I don't have infinite storage, but I'll, I want to sh share it, and I'm, I want to talk about it, and I want there to be a record that these these weird things existed. Because sooner or later, they will all be in a landfill, and they will all be gone. And at least we have some record you know so i'm i'm very very happy that this is a series that you guys want to see continue um and please continue to be vocal about that because it these are obviously a little bit more work to put together than uh just sitting here in the in the video vault watching movies and doing reviews they're 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 obviously a lot more legwork uh so it, it feels good to hear that that uh that positive feedback so until next time, I will catch all you cool cats and dirty dogs on the flip side. Bye-bye.